Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative with another Divi tutorial. This week I'm going to show you how to move the body text of the Divi Blur module over to the left underneath the icon or the image. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. By default, the blurb has the title text and the body text aligned you know, vertically, but then the icon or the image kind of sticks out to the left. And you can see that right here, this example, okay? Now, after the tutorial is over, it will look like this, all right? So here you can see it's aligned with the icon, all right? So if you're watching this on YouTube, as always, click the link in the description. That'll bring you to the blog post where we have the code and everything. Now, there are actually a couple ways we could do this. In fact, I actually started um, using jQuery for it, and it, it just wasn't quite working. There were some some uh, kinks with that. The, another method would be to target the, the ETPB blurb description and that would be that's technically the body uh, the body text and you could you know uh, adjust it that way using the margin and stuff but what I found was even easier is actually working within the module in the custom CSS. So let me show you what I mean. First of all let's get the the blurb module set up right so here I have a default blurb. I've just added it to the layout and it looks like this. The image on top, then title and body text. So a couple of things I want to do. I actually want to use an icon, but that's kind of optional. I could switch that right here. Just say use icon and then pick one. The design tab, go to image and icon and make sure that your image slash icon placement is on the left. Obviously that's what we need to do. That's, that's kind of um, all that I really uh, need to do, right? As far as adjusting the design settings. Now, the next step is to add a little bit of CSS into the advanced tab. So we're gonna be working in the advanced tab of the module. Go to custom CSS, open that up, and these boxes here are where we are going to actually place a little bit of code. All right, so back here to actually gather that code. I have it written down right here. So inside, actually you can see it here how it will look. Just go ahead and copy each one of these. So this one says blurb image. So I'll copy that, paste it right here in the blurb image. Next one says blurb title. Actually, I think that's the exact same code. Um, and then blurb content. All right. And you can see what's going on. I'll, I'll actually, you know what, I'm going to do one of the things I said here at the bottom, adding a margin top of, of four pixels or so to the title that will fluctuate based on size. So maybe I'll make that six. I'm actually aligning the title and the icon vertically. But these other things, so what I did here, you know, I, I came up with 46 as the number that worked for me with that icon size. Now, if I went and changed the icon size, I'll have to redo the number, right? So keep that in mind. You may have to put in a different number to adjust to whatever size image or icon that you're using, okay? But I'm saying by default, just selecting an icon like that, this is the number I thought worked really good, 46 pixels. So we're saying left, we're moving um, the image or the icon actually we're saying left so it's, we're actually adding like think of it as like a margin left in a way so we're moving it to the right <laughs> I know it's confusing um, if in fact watch what happens before I've added this see there I've moved just the icon now I'm moving the title also so it's like both things move over now this code here in the blurb content you may think that you don't need it. And, and it's a little tricky because if I take it out, it looks like I don't need it. Everything looks like it's aligned and it is. But what we're doing with the blurb content is everything. We're, we're talking the icon, the title, and the body text. We're moving all of that now over, back over because remember we've actually moved the image icon and title to the right and now we're moving everything back to the to the left to where it originally was. I know, I know that's confusing. Um, in my live example here, 
if if I had not added that last snippet, there would be more space on the left side. It would look like there's a gap on the left side because I've added a background. Like if I would add a border, let me see if I can demonstrate this. All right, there, I've added a border. Now you can see over on the left, there's all this space. That's the space that we've moved over. So now when I paste back in the left negative 46, now we're back to, to breaking even, if that makes sense. So kind of just trust me on this and um, use the, the numbers that are in here. And the this whole thing with the min width, that is because if I didn't do that, I know it's adding, making it full width, but if I didn't do that, then there'd be a 46 pixel gap on the right side. So, um, like I said, just kind of use what I have here and, and everything will be good. So again, the, the tutorial is going from this, right, with the gap space underneath here, to this, where it's aligned like that. So I hope you guys like that. It's something that I actually use a good bit and um, the last step I would highly recommend is making that as a default um, with as a preset, right? Maybe call it something, you know, aligned body text, aligned left or something. Like make a preset out of it and then anytime you want that, the code will actually come into the preset, right? So the CSS that you add, you, you don't have to go adding it to like 20 different blurbs on your site. Just change the preset and the code will apply. So that's the nice thing about the presets. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. We do this every Tuesday here on YouTube and on the blog. All right, well, we'll see you all in the next video.